Hi, in the previous lecture, we set up our first HD Insight cluster. In this lecture, we will understand the HD Insight interface along with the Ambari UI. We will also connect to our cluster using PuTTY over SSH and also manage the data using Azure Storage Explorer. So let's go ahead and do it. On this interface, the overview, as the name suggests, provides all the essential details of our cluster, such as resource group, its structure, subscription, cluster type, and its version, as well as the external link to this particular cluster. You also see these quick links of cluster dashboard and the Ambari views. We will go through them very soon. The access control provides the interface for managing the access as well as various roles you can create within it. The configuration part of the cluster provides various options to see subscription core usage, number of cores in use under a particular subscription and various other details. Under scale cluster option, you can increase the number of worker nodes as per the demand. Under SSH cluster login, you can get the endpoints to connect to your cluster. And you can also reset your SSH credentials for a given username. Let's now go to the overview screen and check the Ambari UI for this particular cluster. You can either click on Ambari views or on the cluster link and it will ask for the user ID and password for the cluster. Be very careful while entering the password as a wrong password will make it very difficult to log in again unless you clear your browser history. Better option is to log in in an incognito mode. Have some patience here because it can be very slow at times depending upon the region and time when you are accessing it. So this is how the Ambari UI views look like. It provides various options such as HDFS, YARN, TES, Hive, etc. We will go through some of these as we go through the details of them in the respective lectures. It also provides various metrics such as disk usage, memory usage, CPU usage and so on. Everything here looks green and we should not bother too much about it for now. You can change few things here on this dashboard. But unless you know what you are doing, I won't suggest you to change any configuration or parameters. Let's now connect to our cluster using SSH. For that, let's go to the Azure portal. And let's click on SSH link over here. You can select the host name and then it will show you this SSH link as well. I'm going to copy only this part up to SSH user and now let's go to PuTTY and connect to our cluster over there. So here we are in PuTTY. Simply paste the link in this text box and leave the port as it is which is 22 and click on open. If you are connecting it first time, it may give you a dialog box that the key has not been cached. You simply click on yes and it won't ask it again. And before we proceed, let me change the font here so that we can see it clearly on the video. Great, it looks much better now. So enter the password that you set at the time of creating the cluster. And welcome to HD Insight. You are now connected to the head node that's denoted by HN0. And if you want to access any of the folders and files, the command for that is HDFS space DFS space dash LS space slash and enter. There you go. It shows various files and directories that we have in the root. Let's now connect to the cluster using Storage Explorer 
and do some task of uploading some of the files. So here we are and all you need to do is go to the pay as you go subscription or whatever subscription you are using and you will see this storage of HDFS 99. Expand it until you see the container and click on it. It will open this nice UI using which you can upload and download the data to the cluster as well as delete them from here. So let's upload one of the files that we are going to use during the MapReduce lecture. So click on upload. It opens this dialog box. Click on this little button here and go to the folder where the file is kept. You have this file as part of supporting material of this particular course. And let's also create a folder by the name Hotel and enter. It will start uploading the file and it should be quick as it is a very small file. Now, when we go to the Explorer, we see this folder name Hotel over here. Let's now go to SSH and verify it. Not that I doubt this exercise, but simply want to show you how it appears in SSH. All right, so here we are. I'm going to clear the screen and let's simply press up arrow and go to the command of dash ls space slash and press enter. And here we have these files and directories. And as you can see, we have this directory hotel created under root. Let's now see the details under it. So simply add hotel after this slash and press enter. There you go. And if we want to see the content of it right here, we simply change this command to hdfs space dfs space hyphen text and instead of hyphen ls and provide the path of this file which is slash hotel slash hotel data dot txt and press enter it's displaying all the 500 odd records right here it's not much of use right now but the purpose here is to show how to display certain contents I hope that explains an overview of Ambari UI, how to connect to HD Insight using PuTTY on SSH, as well as how to upload the file to our cluster using Azure Storage Explorer. In the next lecture, let's see how we can do the same for the local Hadoop cluster. Before that, do not forget to delete the cluster as well as the storage if you are not going to use it beyond this lecture. Whenever you resume, you can always create it within 15 to 20 minutes. Thank you so much for joining me here and have a great time.